guys, Anthony and Veronica here from Finding Our Adventure. Today we're heading out on the Island Packers adventure boat. We're heading to Santa Cruz Island. Come along with us as we find our adventure. Gee. All right, on the Island Packers boat, you want to get on here early to get a spot upstairs out in the open. It's nice up here, nice cool breeze, about an hour's long jaunt to uh, Santa Cruz Island. <laughs> and clothes and uh, make sure you bring food and water uh, as there's none on the island for you. here is uh, Santa Cruz Island you can't there's no food on the island but there is potable water which means you can drink it straight from the tap and uh, there's bathrooms and stuff so I'm gonna show you that now so you got bathrooms here you got a visitor center over here with some potable water down at the campsite and just some cool stuff along the way so it's a little busy up front because this is where everyone gets off the boat but uh, as you extend into the island a little bit it'll become a little more barren so let's go adventure Super cool stuff. Lots of history here. The visitor center. It's a federal building. This used to show how, how it was a long time ago, Andy. This is Definitely a good idea to pack your own lunch because you ain't getting food on the island. Bon appetit. A couple of nice benches here by the visitor center. It's like four of them. One, two, yeah, about four or five. Right next to the visitor center here. And we're just looking back on the uh, one of the blacksmith shops, bathrooms, and then uh, where the ship comes in. So. One of the uh, more common hikes is actually right here next to the visitor center. You take about a mile loop up to the top of this hill, it gets flat up there, and there's another hike that's about uh, five miles round trip that you can do. It's what most people do for the day. And uh, you can also head on this way and head in towards the uh, campgrounds. Scorpion Canyon is nice because most people are heading up Cavern Loop first. So if you wanna get away from the people, head up this area a little bit. Here you can see Scorpion Canyon. We were walking along here. We're right here and you can see there's 22 campsites up here on the right or you can continue on uh, up to the upper site loop here which is pretty nice so we'll continue on just kind of look through the campground and just take a look ones here. The campgrounds are all spread out, but some of these are real nice under the trees here. And uh, we'll kind of highlight a few of those. Got our potable water spigot here right next to Camp 5, so you can fill up water here. Campsite 7 is another must, and there's lots of baby foxes here. There's another one right here. Really? That's actually an adult. That's full size? Yep. No way. There's two pups. We're going to be waiting here to see if the pups come out. Wow. There's another potable water uh, spigot over here next to, it looks like campsite 20. And we're gonna go check those out real quick. Potable water here, dispense drinking water only. Awesome flow, fantastic. If this would be like your first time backpacking, this would be just a fantastic campground to come to because you can have a super heavy backpack. It's literally like a quarter mile to this campground and there's tons of campers here which is cool so if you're into that 
And you can eat it too. You can eat two meals. Yeah. And there's really nice bathrooms here. Yeah. Really nice bathrooms. So, uh, super cool stuff here. Yeah. This is awesome. All right. Coming up here on the junction of Scorpion Canyon Loop Trail and Potato Harbor Overlook here, as you can see. And so we are up to the upper campground, which is super cool. Again, lots of shaded trees here. Nice brand new bathroom. Tons of bear boxes, or I should say fox boxes and uh, benches. We'll loop the campground here, show you some of the nice spots and uh, report back. All right, a couple of really nice campsites here. You got campsite D, real nice in between two trees. Site E right here under these giant trees is really nice, but it is a little close to the bathrooms, but another great option. And probably the best spot here. It's gonna be this one all the way at the back. Campsite 23, that's the one right there. Best views in town. Nicest uh, spot on the island. What do you think, kid? Yeah, that's the spot. We, that's where it's at. Would you camp there? Yeah. You could, it's so close to the boats, you could walk a cooler up here. Uh, ice cold beer, food, potable water. Brand new bathrooms. This is impossible to beat in terms of a, a backpacking location for new campers. Yeah, we gotta Alright, guys, this is the top of the first campground here. Excuse the wind. We're gonna be heading up to Cavern Point here. We're gonna take the back way, uh, less people this way, and it's gonna be steep on the way down. Okay? The other traditional way is where you uh, head up to Cavern Point right off the boats and it's real steep on the way up and there's tons of people. So this is nice little back way. Not many people do it this route. So we're gonna do it backwards. Doing the cavern loop this way is really nice because you're the only one on the trail, baby. Haven't seen anyone in 20 minutes. Had we gone the other way, we probably would've seen 50 people by now. How do you like this route? The wind's nice, I like it. Nice wind. That is for sure coming out of the north. We just snaked up here from the campgrounds. Okay, and you're coming to the intersection here of Cavern Point and Potato Overlook. So we're gonna head right down Cavern Point, head up to the point, and as you can see, Pacific Ocean with great views and the wind is fantastic. All right, almost to Cavern Point. Pretty cool. All right, heading up here to the top of Cavern Point. Choose your own path. Here she is in all her beauty. Whoo, holy moly. view you could ever get on a one mile hike it don't get better than that about a mile hike and you get views like this, this is incredible not super strenuous if you don't hike you could you could get up here easily just definitely bring a, you know some water with you and a little backpack with uh, some spare clothes because it can get windy and cold in a pinch or it could be hot out like it is now I mean how do, how do you beat this this is awesome. You, you got to come out here and check out this island. As your first island, this is probably the best one to check out. And it's the cheapest and the quickest to get to. Cavern Point up there. You walk back down and you'll make your first left. And this is going to be the original way that you're supposed to take up. But we are going to take this back down. So less people this way. Let's get to it. And what's nice about this is, again, there's nobody on the trail because they're all heading the other way, right? So by doing this loop backwards, you miss all the people. And this island feels like it's all your own. The views along this trail are awesome because you're basically checking out the ocean the whole way. This is nice on the way back. You get the rewarding views on the way home, which is nice. A little fun fact when you're coming out here, 
you're gonna pack your lunch, make sure to pack a nice orange, banana, something citrusy. It's like a nice snack. Replenishes you with the water that you're drinking because you're gonna get to deplete it out here in all this sun. Nice orange. It's the spot. Hmm. See, we're down by the beach here at Scorpion Cove. This is where the boat uh, dropped you off. And if you look on over here, you can see there's quite a few benches and tons of kayaks for you to rent. And we're going to go hang out right here on the beach and show you that. Out here on the beach, there's some sand, but it's mostly rock out on this beach. So sandals would be preferred here if you're going to come out and enjoy the water. And before you guys plan on heading home to close out your adventure, make sure to stop by the Channel Islands National Park Visitor Center and learn a little bit about the history of this place and uh, pick up a souvenir for yourself too. It helps the community out and it's just another fun little thing to do while you're here. Let's go check it out. Pretty cool is they have a lot of uh, specialty plants here that you'll find on the island itself. And so they provide you with a little bit of a nature walk here. You can check out all the islands. So that is pretty cool. San Miguel Island, Santa Rosa Island, Santa Cruz Island, in the Scorpion Cove area here. Anacapa, the small one that's very popular for bird watching. And little Santa Barbara Island. Super cool. So basically what we did yesterday was we came in here from the mainland and we basically uh, hiked up into the campgrounds here, hiked this way, up and over to Cavern Point, and all the way back down towards the boats. And what I was telling you was most people hike up this way. They hike right from the boat up the front side, and they either go to Cavern Point or straight back, or they follow this way and come down through the campgrounds. So if you do it backwards, there's gonna be a lot less people hiking up the trail and all the rewarding views are on the way down, which is nice. And then you can always go to Prisoner's Cove here so you can see how much further down that is. So that would give you a different perspective with, uh, you know, hikes to Pelican Bay and other really cool locations. And uh, obviously painted caves. Oh, I think that Veronica and I are scuba diving right now. <laughs> Catch you when we're top side. <laughs> Visitor center gift shop. And more information, check that out. Alright guys, and if you're going to be traveling from anywhere in Southern California up to the Channel Islands, make sure you take Highway 1, PCH, Pacific Coast Highway, all the way up here. Why? Because you get views like this the entire way. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beat sitting in the 405 traffic or the 101 or the 110. Definitely take PCH for part of this adventure if you can. I mean, come on. How do you beat this? Alright guys, thanks for coming along and 
joining along in our adventure as we cruise out to Santa Cruz Island and checked out the Channel Islands in general and Ventura Harbor and places to stay. As always, like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. God bless America and this fine country that we live in. I love seeing them flying our American flag nice and tall. And we will see you on our next adventure. Finding our adventure. Fine. Our adventure. Kaka! 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 Kaka!